Hello all, welcome back. So you must have seen my recent Instagram post or LinkedIn post where I have updated, where I have announced that, you know, I have passed cloud digital leader exam on July 15th. Basically I wrote the exam on July 10th, but I got the result on July 15th. Uh, I got the certificate on July 15th. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about three things specific to that exam. One, why I took the exam, my exam experience, what are the topics? And third, whether you should take this exam. The first and foremost thing, why I took this exam was because there are three reasons. First reason, in the current role, I'm a senior manager and this exam is more geared towards the leaders and VPs and, and pre-sales or salespeople for the Google Cloud. And the second reason, it has a very nice ring to it. I like the name, uh, the Cloud Digital Leader. And the third reason is because I wanted to write this exam and share my experience with my YouTube family, with you all. So coming to the exam experience, I took this exam on July 10th. So there were about 50 questions and the total exam duration was about for 20, 120 minutes. But I never had an issue with the time at all. Uh, the exam was very simple. In fact, I never, in fact, I haven't practiced or I haven't studied anything for the exam. And there was no practice test as well uh, when I took the exam. So now I think there are some questions, practice questions that you can, you can practice before going into the exam. But when I took the exam, there was no practice questions. So going into the exam, I have went through the two articles. One is from Satish and the other one was from Antonio. So they shared their experience of the exam. So I'm gonna post those links in the description. It'll be useful for you as well before you write the exam. So besides that, I think it was a very easy exam uh, because I have been working in the Google Cloud for a long time. And also I wrote associate exam before. And if you have written associate exam or the cloud architect exam, this exam is going to be very easy. You don't have to worry too much about the exam. You can just go and write the exam. And also I took this exam online through proctored. I haven't gone to the center. So this was, uh, this was the same experience that I had with Microsoft Azure Essentials where I also took it as online exam. So if you are fresh out of the college or if you want to get into cloud, I would not recommend this exam for you. Or if you are even a hardcore developer or a data engineer or who are uh, currently working in Google Cloud as an architect, then I would suggest to take a PC exam or associate exam that is more suitable for you. But if you are a manager, if you are a senior manager and if you are a VP or SVP or if you want to have a very high level understanding of GCP, especially going into the meetings and talking about GCP services and all, then I would highly recommend taking this exam. So as far as the topics of the exam are concerned, if you are planning to take this exam, so you should be knowing about all Google Cloud services. You should also know some of the common use cases that are used to migrate data from on-premise to Google Cloud, like for example, uh, if you were to migrate to us to Google Cloud, how would you migrate that uh, workload? How would you connect from on-premise to Google Cloud? So those are the, some of the concepts and also how would you do SSO based authentication on the Google Cloud? So these are the, some of the scenarios that were covered in the exam. So overall, it's a very good exam. It's not, it's not very tough, but it's not also very easy if you having if you do not have any exposure to Google Cloud. It's right there and whoever has uh, designed this exam, it was very well designed when compared to Azure Essentials that I have written before because Azure Essentials, they were asking some dumb questions about the console and everything, but here it was more geared towards the scenarios and other things. So this is a very good exam uh, for leaders out there who wants to, who would like to uh, showcase their skills and uh, showcase their knowledge that they know Google Cloud. And the other thing that I forgot, so after you take the exam, you'll get the result, whether it is pass or fail. You're not going to get anything about the sections or how much percentage you got, but the actual certificate, you'll get it after five days. Uh, for instance, I took the exam on July 10th. I got the certificate on July 15th, which I have shared with you on Instagram and, and over LinkedIn. With that, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section if you're planning to take this exam. And let me know if you need any other additional help regarding this exam. As I was making this video, I saw there was a practice test. I'll make a video by attempting the practice test without even preparing anything and I can go over some of the some of the approaches that you usually take before writing this before writing any exam. Thank you all again for watching this video. And if you are wondering about my background here and this new location, then I'm going to disclose that why I'm here in India and other things in my upcoming video. Thank you all. Take care. Bye.